Hello folks and welcome to Good Old Gospel Time, the program that shares some of the best music on this earth, gospel music. My name is Rhonda Combs and I will be your host and guide you through a musical journey of fantastic gospel music. And this particular episode is what I call Gospel Fest Full. That's right. Every song, every artist on this episode of Good Old Gospel Time comes to you from footage that we received from the Loretta Lynn Gospel Music Festival. It took place in 2021. Uh, you may recall not too long before this particular festival was to begin, they had a big old flood down in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, and everything got shifted north up to Kentucky, which is my home state. Uh, I was able to attend that particular festival. It was a good one. They had to relocate. It was a very sad time. As you may recall, um, the ranch manager, I believe was his title, lost his life in that flood. And, uh, but I believe that they're rebounding, coming back from that. And we have great footage from Gospel Fest 2021 that we're going to share with you on this episode of Good Old Gospel Time. Even though it is Gospel Fest full, it is also going to have a Bible verse, just like always. Can't leave that out. So what do you say we get into some fantastic gospel music, though? I know I'm ready. Hope you are as well. Together, let's you and I have a good old gospel time. What do you say we start this episode with a song about prayer? This one is entitled Power in Prayer, sang for us by Fields of Grace, and I love the testimony this young gal gives before this song. Check it out, folks. I just want to give God a, um, my best praise today. Every time I get to tell this story, I just want to give Him praise. You know, um, the Lord's done some wonderful things for me in my life. He saved me at age 22, and I can't thank Him enough for that because I'm not worthy, and I just want to praise Him for that. Um, but six years ago, I woke up one morning, and I had the worst headache I've ever had in my life. And... Um, I did what any mama would do. I took Tylenol ibuprofen and went about my day, and I didn't think anything about it. I've got two beautiful children at home, and I don't have time to be sick. But six hours later, when that medication wore off, that headache was still there. So I took some more, and I went on about my day. But that headache woke me up that night. It woke me up the next morning, lasted all day long, and woke me up the, the night after, woke me up the next day, and it just went on, and it went on, and it went on, and it wouldn't stop. It just got worse and worse and worse. My husband, my mom begged me to go to the doctor. I said, I ain't doing it. I don't have time for that. They're going to tell me I'm stressed out. I know I'm stressed out. I don't need a doctor bill for that. And uh, so I, I just kept on taking Tylenol ibuprofen. But that headache lasted for two weeks straight. The 13th night when I went to bed and I laid my head on the pillow, the Spirit of God came in the room and washed over me in a way I've never experienced before. And it was the sweetest peace I have ever known. And it was so precious because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt when it comes my time to die, I know I'm going to experience that same feeling once again. But I knew as I laid there, I just knew that I was going to wake up and see Jesus. I had tears streaming out of my eyes, but I wasn't sad. And I wasn't scared. I just knew I was going to meet the Lord. And all I can think is that some sweet little saint got out of bed and prayed for me and prayed me on this earth a little while longer. I woke up the next morning, I looked over at my husband and I said, I have no idea what just happened to me last night. He said, that's it, girl, you're going to the hospital. I'm not taking no for an answer this time. And he rushed me on and they did a CT scan on my head. And that little doctor came back, why does a ghost scared to death? He said, we got to get you to a neurosurgeon right away. You have a hemorrhage in your brain. The minute he said it, I felt the Lord in the room. He was standing right here, right next to me, close enough to hold my hand. He rode with me the on the, in the ambulance on my left side. He never left me for a second. He was a very present help in my time of trouble. And when we got to the hospital, amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. The neurosurgeon who did my surgery sat my husband down. And he said, your wife has a bleed in her brain right next to her brain stem. It's the size of a golf ball. Because of where it's at, she's most likely going to die in surgery. But if she makes it, she's going to be totally paralyzed or partially paralyzed. She may be blind. She may never walk again. She may never talk again. We don't know. 
But God's people were praying for me. I appreciate it. And I woke up right after my surgery. I sat up off my bed and I looked around. And I said, well, hallelujah, the Lord saved me twice. Amen. Six days later, go ahead. Six days later, I walked out of that hospital. <laughs> some just see someone down on their knees talking to their words lost on a breeze. Some just see teardrops fall into just a waste of time, not anything more, but it's a direct line to the throne room, where you can find someone who cares, and if you need some proof, I can tell you. There is power, there is power in I can tell you about the time the Lord gave me peace with trouble all through calm to storm. And I remember when I cried out, he saved my soul. Some of their doubts, but I know that I know that I know that it's a direct line to the throne room. Hallelujah. Where you can From the great state of North Carolina, Candler, North Carolina to be exact, there you have the group known as Fields of Grace and the song entitled Power in Prayer. Well, raise your hand if you remember the Spear family. Dad Spear wrote a lot of great songs and we're going to feature one for you right now out of the old Redback Hymnal. It's a new twist on an old song, one entitled Heaven's Jubilee sang for us by the New Spear family. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me, joy is ours to share 
What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise Headed for that jubilee yonder in the sky Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting On that happy morning when we all shall rise Oh, what glory, hallelujah When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky Now I almost see all the sainted dead Rising for that jubilee that is just ahead In the twinkling of an eye change with him to be All the living saints to fly to that jubilee Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise Oh, what glory, hallelujah When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky When with all the heavenly host we be to sing, singing in the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring, and millions there will join the song, with them we shall be, praising Christ through ages long, heaven's jubilee, oh what singing, oh what shouting, on that happy morning when we all shall rise, oh Savior in the sky, what a day of singing, what a day of shouting, on that happy morning when we all shall rise, what a day of glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky, what a day of singing, what a day of shouting, on that happy morning when we all shall rise for the glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky, when we meet our blessed Savior in the If my memory serves me correctly, I believe that's page 110 in the red back hymnal. And I think my church does it in the key of G. There you have the new Spear family singing one that Dad Spear wrote entitled, Heaven's Jubilee. Okay, I asked you a bit ago about uh, knowing the Spear family, asking you to raise your hand. Well, how many of you out there have been following the inspirations for nearly 60 years, this group has been around. But now we have what they're calling the Young Inspirations. I think they've kind of dropped that young name by now. They're just going by the Inspirations, some young fellows keeping that tradition alive. And they are featured on this episode's Double Blessing. What do you say we hear two in a row? First entitled, Amazing Grace. And then one for us entitled, Is That Footsteps That I Hear? Check out the inspirations. Amazing grace, how sweet the That saved a wretch like me. Yeah. 
coming It's drawing closer It is that footsteps That I hear Many a saint has Fought the battle of the race And shed the tears Now it's time To get excited It's that footsteps That I hear It's that footsteps That, footsteps that I hear Heavenly folktales seem so near Heavenly lights are shining I don't know about you, but I like it when young people like this music. And those young fellas, boy, are they keeping a great sound alive today. With the double blessing that was Amazing Grace and Is That Footsteps That I Hear, sang for us by The Inspirations. All right, Bible readers, grab that pen and paper. It's time to write down this episode's Bible verse. And then once the program is over, you can get your Bibles and check it out. We're going to go to the New Testament, the book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 19. Matthew 28, 19. That's the Bible verse for this episode of Good Old Gospel Time. What do you say we feature a group from the great state of Tennessee? Well, not originally. The female singer in this group is from California. And the man that she's married to, he is from the great state of Ohio. So you got a Buckeye and a beach gal. <laughs> it's the Freemans singing Voice in the Desert. Can you see that rugged preacher? Knee deep in the Jordan River. He's got fire in his eyes. Words he's speaking. He's calling out to the sinner. Come repent and be baptized. They said, Hey, ain't you the one? The prophet said, What? Huh? He said, No, somebody gotta be a voice in the desert. Oh, oh, yes. Somebody gotta make a way. Somebody gotta make a way for the Lord. Yeah. 
Oh, there's no mistake in that Chris Freeman voice. One entitled Voice in the Desert sang for us by the Freemans. Hey, this is Dina with Heart to Heart, and you're watching Good Old Gospel Time with our great friend Rhonda Combs. Stay tuned for great gospel music. We are now heading back over to the state of North Carolina. That's where you can find the home base for the Troy Burns family. And they're singing a song for us entitled, When God Moves. that dobro and I like that bass, bass voice. Well, Troy does a good job playing the bass as well. That was the Troy Burns family singing one for us entitled, When God Moves. Up next on the program, we're going to feature a song for you by The Perrys, one entitled, I Will, I Can, I Have. Enjoy it. Yes. 
There you have another very recognizable voice in gospel music, Miss Libby Perry Stuffle. The song was entitled, I Will, I Can, I Have, sang for us by the Perrys. Up next on Good Old Gospel Time, it is the ever popular Karen Peck and New River, singing one for us entitled, Gonna Wear a Crown.
are you? I hope you can say yes, that you're going to wear a crown one of these days as well. There you have Karen Peck and New River. All right, viewers, it is now time for the triple treat. That means we have three songs in a row for you by three different artists. And today's triple treat is going to be known as the S triple treat because each one of these groups names starts with the letter S. Getting us started, it's going to be Sacred Harmony singing, one entitled Sing Joy to the World. Then we have the Seagoes with Rise Up and Walk. And rounding it out, it's Sound Street singing I Remember the Day. That's a lot of S's. Enjoy this triple treat. Silver and gold, 
have I known? Said Peter to the man that day, that day. Say you he was laid in the gate while the others went inside and pray. But such as I have, give I thee. And he gave him a lick with his paw. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Silver and gold have I known. Said Peter to the man that day, that day. three great songs by three different artists that uh, might be considered kind of up and coming to some folks, might be a little newer to you, but uh, great harmonies, great singing, great song choices. That was Sacred Harmony singing, one entitled, Sing Joy to the World. Then it was The Seagoes with Rise Up and Walk and Sound Street, I Remember the Day. Pray you were blessed by today's Triple Treat. What do you say we head up way up north to the great state of Michigan? That's where you can find this next group hailing from. They are known as The Sound. It's a father and two sons, and they have a fantastic song entitled City of Joy. Pray you're going there one day, folks. 
Well, how you doing in Kentucky today? Come on, like this right here. Hey. Well, I've heard about a place. Saw ya. Not made by any man. Uh, gates of pearl, streets of gold. Where the rescued love to dance. And I've heard about the angels singing to the Lamb. Here we go. We are bound for, we are bound for the city of joy. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about a place where there's no more night. Where the lion and the lamb, they're sleeping side by side. And I've heard that there are colors that no one can describe. Oh no, we are bound for we are bound for the city of joy. Oh, what a day that is going to be when our Savior we shall see and the curse of sin and suffering is finally destroyed. We are bound for the city of joy. Do I have anybody on their way to the city of joy here tonight? Yeah, I've heard about a day when that trumpet sounds. I'm looking forward to it cause the sky will crack wide open and our feet come off the ground. And I've heard that we will see Him as all the saints bow down. Yeah, we are bound for Help me sing now. Come on. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. And when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. We'll sing and shout the victory. Kentucky, if you're ready to shout, I want to hear you right now. They are definitely young and energetic. With a song entitled, City of Joy, there you have the sound. Alrighty, we have time for one more song and we are going to feature Kentucky's very own Sneed family. The song is entitled, Who is on the Lord's Side? God is granted all the praise and glory 
For he gave his son on Calvary to die. Oh, that same son gave his life on old Calvary. Now tell me who is on the Lord's side tonight. little redo there of an old Henson classic, Who is on the Lord's Side? That was the Sneed family singing for you. And the Sneed family are the host group for the Loretta Lynn Gospel Music Fest. Um, check it out, folks. Just type in Google Loretta Lynn's Gospel Music Fest. It's held every year, normally at the ranch in Hurricane Mills. Like I say, uh, all this footage was shot back in 2021 when they had to move it to Kentucky because of the flood. But it's a great event. All kinds of artists are there, different styles, different types, family groups, trios, duos, solo artists. Um, it's a big to-do. They have a talent search. They had a craft show this past year, a car show, all kinds of interesting things. And um, yeah, just check it out. Loretta Lynn Gospel Music Fest. I'm sure 2023 will be great as well. Hope you like that song once again from the Sneed family. There you have it. Episode number 104. Wow. Hard to believe. But that's not the last one. Good Lord willing, we'll start on 105 here very soon. We're going to keep this music coming to you folks. So don't give up on us. Keep on watching. Pray for us. We'll do the very best we can to keep on sending out this great gospel music because Lord knows that's one thing the world needs. Besides God himself, hey, doesn't hurt to have a little gospel music, right? Again, pray you are blessed and keep on tuning in because when you do, together, you and I are going to have a good old gospel time. Wow. No bloopers. Wow. Hope I remember how to do this. I was just noticing on my paper here, I've got July slash August 2022. I've been working on this for five months. OMG. Good old gospel time. Episode 104. Take one. Oh, what a blessing I am. Mm -hmm. There you have another undeniable. Is that the right word? Oh.